hello, hello, everyone. Welcome to the May, June, and July. Yeah. Happy mail haul. All the cards you guys sent that showed up in my post office box over those three months, I skipped filming for multiple reasons. Biggest one being there just wasn't enough in May and June with everything going on. So yeah, I've got a fabulous little stack here. So let's just dive right into it. So it's kind of funny since it's three months worth of cards. There are, as I was organizing it all, I realized there was multiple and like cards from people. So I'm, I think I've got them all somewhat organized. So anyway, these are from Charlotte B in Texas. She did this very metallic one. I don't know. Can I kind of pick up the metallic? Let me see if I can get it more if I turn the flashlight on on my phone. There we go. Isn't that pretty? And it's got a bit of a sparkle to it as well, which I love. So yeah, she did metallic watercolors on there. And then I think she hand lettered that sentiment, which always impresses me. And yeah, bling. Love the Tim Holtz metallic cardstock. Like, yeah. You guys know me. Anything blingy, sparkly, bling, metallic, I'm always up for. And then she had done this one. And this is just neat. Like, I'm pretty sure it was a stencil over this pattern paper, which is funny because someone else did that as well. Like, a completely different one. And I'll get to that in a minute. But that's something I never think of doing is adding stenciling over pattern paper. I'm, I love the look of mixed media and that sort of thing, and I never think to do it. So yeah, she did, again, the gorgeous coloring and then added metallic accents to this bird, and then we've got some bling here, and love it. Love it. So we've got that, and then there was a package of cards from Finland. These are Peugeot and Lena. I've shown these in a bunch of my Happy Meal Hall videos. They always do kind of their own take on whatever the theme is, and then they send them to me, and then, yeah, it, it's just fun. I love it. So this one is Lena's card. Oh, this is so pretty. I love the um, pattern being repeated on the envelope. And again, bling, floral, love. So pretty. So with that one, and then this one is Peugeot's card. I always hope, I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. I am the absolute worst at pronunciation of pretty much everything. And then same idea. It's um, copied onto the envelope, the pattern. This will be the tonic, um, my brain stopped, but it's the paste, the metallic paste that I've used for faux foiling really pretty. Really pretty. Love it. So those are the May cards and then we have the June cards. So we've got Peugeot's and then Lena's. Okay. Just like wave. Oh, look at that. It's foiled. That's really cool. Love it. Foil, ugh. And again, um, tonic. Um, uh, my brain is not working today. <laughs> powders, the, the, the burst powders, whatever they're called, shimmer powders. Wow, I have not had enough coffee. Anyway, love it. And metallic. So there's that one, and then this will be Lena's. Oh, it's a shaker. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> I have this stamp too. This is a uh, Tim Holtz stamp. Those cats. I ordered that. I've had it sitting. I haven't had a chance to use it, but I love. They're so ridiculous. I'll hopefully remember to link to it. I, again, you guys, I'm just all over the place. My brain is just mush right now. But uh, I have this set and there's some fun sentiments with it, but I love, like, it just, it works with that sentiment. <laughs> and I love 
that it's a shaker and I like that you use the same ugh. see this is why I love doing the Happy Meal haul to see people's um interpretations of things and use of things because like use this like chicken wire background on this card floral and really pretty and then you go and use it on here completely different look you know and I just this just literally made me laugh so love it and there's like little glossy accents on his nose. I like that he did his eyes like green. It just makes them pop. That just, yeah, love it. You guys all rock. So I got those. And then uh, this one from Allison C in Alberta. And when I can, I like showing the envelopes too because that always, when I'm pulling out the mail from the post office box, it always like the, you know, the bright envelopes, whether they're decorated, just they stand out, you know? So really pretty. So that was the envelope and then the card. I love everyone's use of bling. I like the colors. This makes me think of my grandma. She was very much red and like black and white polka dots, that sort of thing. That was very much her kind of aesthetic in a sense, which I always loved. It always just makes me think of her, but this is really pretty. I really like this layout too. It's all inspiring. So we've got that one. And then we've got this one from Nancy May in NC, I think is North Carolina. So, and I liked how she put in here, um, your encouragement to participate, uh, like, thank you for your encouragement to participate. You were right. Uh, comparison is dangerous and healthy. Yes. I wanted to point that out again, because I will say this until, you know, I'm blue in the face. Do not compare yourself whether it be the way you look, the way you do things, the way you life to other people, especially what we see on the internet, Instagram, Pinterest, etc. People's Instagram highlights that are all edited and wonderful and their life looks perfect and it's all color coordinated. I'm a sucker for that too. You know, people's curated feeds of their, you know, interiors of their homes and all these different things that look so perfect and everything's so color coordinated. And I walk into my house and I'm just like, uh, no, that's not real. That's not realistic. That's not real life. You know, it's like you put, it's like even like my card making videos, you guys kind of see it, but it's like this little square of whatever. You don't see the absolute insane dumpster fire of chaos that's going on behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to card making, do not compare yourself. That's something I can really, really, truly say. Everyone's style is different. Everyone's interests are different. Everyone's tastes are different. This would uh, be a really boring hobby if we all liked the exact same thing, if we all did the exact same thing, you know, the way a person interprets a stamp set, a stencil, colors, whatever, it's, that's what's fascinating to me. Like what I would do with something versus what everyone would do. And this is why I'm going on this rant yet again. But look at my last video, the, the one I did with the, this card. I did this card and it was a little mini hop with Simon Says Stamp and there was like half a dozen of us designers using the August card kit. And look at the insane variety. We were using the same sets and it, it still blows my mind what how the other designers interpreted that and just went with it and like the rainbow colors and all these things and like using stamps to create um like Kaylee I think that's how she pronounces it Kaylee Pearson used the, the long barter stamp to create like rainbows I never in a million years would have thought to do that you know so that's what I mean like Everyone is different and I think it's great. And I, and I, and then the big one is also don't be intimidated. I've had a lot of people over the years, you know, email or leave comments on that and saying they're too intimidated to send in a card, you know, that they want to, but theirs aren't good enough. That is BS. Just, just saying. It's complete BS. Your stuff is good enough. Everyone's got to start. And yeah, if you feel like doing some digging on the interwebs, go to splitcoaststampers.com and look up my my gallery. I haven't updated it in years and years and years, but my original cards are still on there and it's under the same name as Amy R. <laughs> but I have my very first cards on there from 16 years ago or whenever it was when Split Coast Never started. But yeah, it's all there. Completely different than what I do now, but you all got to start somewhere. So anyway, back to you. Nancy's card. I love this. I like the gray and like yellowish. I like the subdued 
how you subdued the yellow so it's not like crazy crazy bright i think this is really pretty so yeah the, the combo of everything and i like how you use the, like i assume this is a stencil on this and here i would not have thought to do that like I wouldn't, I would never think, and again, I would never think to like watercolor an image and then use a stencil or use a stencil and then watercolor, you know, stamp and watercolor over it. I think that's brilliant. I like how you brought that in. I think it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Okay. Before I like keep going on a rant. So <laughs> this one is from Cindy in Quebec. And this, this one too, she used a stencil over pattern paper. So just use some like metallic -y paste over a stencil on top of pattern paper. I would not think to do that. And I should, because that would probably encourage me to use it. People always give me grief about not using my insane collection of pattern paper more, because I used to use it all the time and now I use it every once in a while. So, but yeah, I wouldn't think to use a stencil over it. And I like that, because it just, it gives it that extra something. And your coloring is always just top notch. And the envelope was absolutely adorable. Absolutely adorable. And I like this size. Um, people have been asking about this size too. This is a one, two, three and a quarter. So this will be like a four bar. One, two, three, four, five, like six, three and a quarter by six. So a little bit bigger than a four bar. I like it. I like it. I might have to do some cards this size. I, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so we've got that one. And then these ones from Wendy J in California. So we've got some texture going on here, florals, and then um, a masculine themed. So yeah, get outside, enjoy the view, and always paddle your own canoe. Cute, really cute. So completely like very floral and then very like masculine graphic. Love it. So we've got those ones. And then this one arrived from Stephanie in Germany and loved the envelope. Like, oh, I like showing stuff like this too because like even like these were all stuck on and I think these were like glossy accented, like die cut and glossy accented. So one props to you for going to that effort to spell out my name with that, but also to show like the, how these things show up. Like it goes across an entire ocean, gets to me in Canada, you know, and then shows up. And most of the time, most of everyone's envelopes and everything come through, no problem. Because I always get asked like, oh, like, you know, if there's designs and patterns and different things and yeah, no, everything shows up. So the card, I really like the subtle florals and then the metallic of the sentiment. Plus this is such a great sentiment, such a great sentiment. So yeah, really, really pretty. And the inside just says always here for you. So, love that. I love pencil coloring. Someone just commented about that. The other, these, this other card was pencil coloring as well. I used to do a ton of pencil coloring back in the day and I can't really do it a whole lot more anymore. My hands just can't handle it. Um, or my wrists really, and my hands can't handle it. And yeah, I still love the look of it though. So then we've got this one from Ellen in Australia. <laughs> and the envelope wasn't that great, but <laughs> This, the postage stamps just, they're so cute. Little wombats and koalas. So cute. So cute. Love it. Like even little silly things like that from other countries. Some of your guys' postage stamps are beyond adorable. So anyway, I love this. She stamped this on vellum and then colored it from the back. I don't know what you use for the white, but that's cool. Yeah. I wonder what you use for the white. Like I've done, I've done the, like you stamp on vellum and you can color it from the back with like Copics, different things. But yeah, really cute. So we got that one. And then this one from Roberta in California. And same thing. Not only did she do the envelope, I like those postage stamps, but even the back. That's that big Simon Says stamp. A stamp. So really fun. Like it's one thing to like add the little decorations to the envelope. I wouldn't have thought to like, that's so cute to do that and then add a sentiment as well. Like it just gives it extra. And I love it. I think it's just beautiful. So that one, and then she's got this card with just bling. So yeah, stencil the color and then added glitter paste and there's glossy accents and pearls. And of course I'm just like, yay. <laughs> so much texture. And again, here, let me, 
My lighting is just not, there we go. There we go. Bling. I like the bling. Oh, and while I'm at it, I didn't even think. Here's this, this one from Peugeot as well, just to give an idea. Like, so much bling. Love it. Can never have too much. So that was from Roberta. Is that what I said it was? I'm pretty sure. Yes, Roberta in California. Okay. I try to keep all of this as organized as I can. Okay, and then this one's from B in Maryland. And again, I think this is a, is this a five by seven, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five by seven card. And this is another Simon Says Stamp Stamp. I like the idea of still like framing this and cutting it off. Like I would, my just instinct would be to like stamp the stamp across the whole card, you know, and not cut it off. But I like that. Your coloring is phenomenal, by the way. I really love that color mix with the pink and the orange and the yellow. It's so pretty. And the splatter. I love the splatter. The splatter, there's bling, pretty sure those are those Studio Cardia golden crystals that I like, the clear ones with the gold sparkle in them. That just makes me happy. <laughs> so we've got that one. And then this one, which is really cool. I like that she, she die cut the background, but she used the Simon Says Stamp. I think she said it right in here. The stitching panel die. It's that big five by seven one. So she die cut that and then die cut it with this to piece into here. So one props on all this paper piecing that's a lot but it just adds that extra cool texture and again I wouldn't have thought of doing that that's really fun it's got that one and then this one from Miranda in the UK she had three cards and of course it just worked out that May June and July so very non-traditional in the North American sense I think in the UK you guys do have like usually like larger cards. That's just your standard. But anyway, metallic. I love the square. I like that like the frame of the flowers. I just think that's really pretty. Like really pretty. And then some texture cardstock too. And I like how you framed these um, different elements of cardstock to frame the sentiment. It just works. Love it. It's got that one. And then this big masculine card, really cute, really cute. And then we've got the July card, which was leaves. I like the like scallop border. I'm pretty sure that's a punch. In fact, yeah, it is a punch. Cool idea to do like the border of the actual card that, because again, I wouldn't think to do that. I would do it as a layer, but I wouldn't think to do it for the edge of the card. And it's just fun. It just works. It's got that one. And then last but certainly not least, this is the one from Evelyn in Estonia. And same thing, like the front of the card was, or the front of the envelope was decorated, but what I really wanted to show to you, she used a wax seal. I just I have a soft spot for wax seals. I just, I love them. I love them. And this showed up, no problem, from Estonia. Came through the mail, just fine. Like... The only thing you have to be aware of sometimes is a lot of times um, it's the thickness of your card where you'll have to add extra postage. So adding a wax seal, depending on the thickness already of the card inside the envelope, you might have to add extra postage, which I'm fine with. Um, it's just, there's something so classy about wax seals. I, still, I just love them. I need to pull out my wax seal kit and use it some more because it's just fun to play with. So anywho, her card, I love like the theme. <laughs> this just, again this just made me laugh. I like the metallic accents on this umbrella. I kind of think that was like whatever it is that you die cut. This this paper or leather like it literally feels like leather. It's interesting. It's interesting. So yeah, really cute, really cute. So as always, thank you all so much for taking the time to make the cards, to address them, to mail them out to me. Um, for those, again, that aren't aware of anything, there's gonna be info in the description box below the video, and I also link to my blog post with how this all works. It's pretty basic. It's just my P.O. box. You guys can mail in cards. I do themes. I, I keep the themes loose. It's not the end of the world because one, 
with everything going on and how long some things take to get to me here in Canada and just, yeah, all of that. I, I'm not gonna like not show. I show everything that shows up in my PO box. I just share it, I don't care whether or not it meets a theme or even if you guys were intending, cause sometimes some of you have sent cards to me that um, weren't even for the happy mail. Like they were just, you were just sending me a card and I'm gonna show it <laughs> cause I like showing off what you guys make. So um, yeah, all that info will be in the description box below the video. Um, if you guys have comments or wanna like wanna leave comments and tell everyone how awesome they are encouragement, all that stuff, you can do that in the comment section below. Um, if you have questions about any of this, like all that kind of stuff, you can definitely leave that as well. Um, I will try and remember to link to some of the things. I'm horrible about it, I know, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it's just, I've got five million things running through my head at the moment. But yeah, I will leave all the info below We'll figure it out as we go along. And then of course, um, huge thank you to my patrons. You guys make it possible for me to do what I do and all that fun stuff. And yeah, huge thank you to you guys. Huge thank you to all my patrons. Huge thank you to my subscribers. All of you that take time to leave comments, all the good things. Um, I very much appreciate all of you. So thank you, love you. Check out the description box below, leave the comments, and I will see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.